Hi, this is Mrs. LaBarbera. This is AP Physics Chapter 2, Video 6. Today's topic is motion with constant acceleration. The objectives for today is to be able to analyze motion with constant acceleration and to be able to interpret graphs of motion with constant acceleration. Equations of motion with constant acceleration. So the general equations, the two we have learned so far are average velocity and uh, average acceleration. So these are general equations. As you may notice on the bottom, instead of time interval is t2 minus t1, we just use t. This is because we assume t0 equals to zero. We also know when acceleration is constant, average velocity equals to the final plus initial divided by two. When we combine these three equations together, we can derive the new three equations. You need to remember the four equations on the bottom of this slide, they are only good um, for constant accelerated motion. Now let's take a look at velocity acceleration uh, vector diagrams of motion with constant acceleration. So vector diagram is to use vector described motion. Since acceleration is constant, so acceleration vector A is the same. They are pointing to the same direction that has the same magnitude. But as you can see, V increases by the same amount. That means acceleration is constant. However, position change by different amount equal time interval. So for each time interval, it increases at a greater rate. That is because one half a t squared it doesn't, uh, it's related to t squared. Motion with constant acceleration vt and xt graph. See in the xt graph, the graph is a parabola, it looks like this. So there are uh, three parts of this graph. First part is this dashed line. This dashed line indicate when there is no acceleration. When there is no acceleration, displacement is just x naught, your starting position plus v naught x times t. Now, the effect of acceleration ch changes the displacement by a factor of 1 half axt squared. See this part? That is the change effect due to acceleration. As a result, the total displacement is the part that has no acceleration plus the effect of acceleration over there. The vt graph for the uh, same object since acceleration is constant, so the VT graph is a straight line with constant slope. The slope should be acceleration. So this graph also has three parts. First, it has dashed line. What dashed line means is the graph with no acceleration. So Vx is just a constant. When you have acceleration, this part is the velocity change due to acceleration. So as a result, graph with constant acceleration is the part that has no acceleration plus the effect of acceleration. Area under AT and VT graph. So the area is A times T. What does A times T equals to according to the equation? A times T is really changing velocity. So that, that's what it means, changing velocity. In VT graph, this uh, area represents displacement. So the area under VT graph is the displacement. Displacement means changing position. So it's a changing x coordinate from time t0 to time t. Let's take a look at, at an example. A motorcyclist heading east through a small Iowa city accelerates after he passes the signpost uh, marking the city uh, the city limits. He accelerate, uh, his acceleration is a constant 4 meters per second squared. At the time t equals to 0, he is 5 meters east of the signpost, moving east at 50 meters per second. First, let's see what is given. Uh, find his position and the velocity at time t equals to 2 seconds. So here is a diagram. A lot of times a diagram helps us to understand the situation a little bit better. So initial um, position, initial speed, acceleration, and the time of two seconds, what is his displacement is, what is his velocity. So let's see, oh, rather, what is his position and his velocity. So 
So this is given. Initial position is 5 meters. Initial velocity, 50 meters per second. Acceleration, 4 meters per second squared. At a time t equals 2 seconds, what is its position and what is the velocity? Take a look at the equation for position. We have x naught plus v naught t plus 1 half a t squared. We choose that equation because, uh, because of what's given. So basically, you plug everything in, and you should have 43 meters. Next one, you have velocity. Again, you choose your equation according to what's given, and you should have 23 meters per second. Where is a motorist when his velocity is 25 meters per second? So again, you write down what is given. It's the same thing as part one, except in this part is when a V is 25 meters per second, where is his position? So you need to choose another equation. V, v squared minus V naught squared equals 2A X minus X naught. So this is a displacement. You solve for X and you should have 55 meters. Next example, a motorist traveling with constant, a constant speed of 50 meters per second passes the school crossing corner where the speed limit is 10 meters per second. Just as the motorist passes, a police officer on a motorcycle stopped at a corner starts off in pursuit with constant acceleration of three meters per second squared. How much time elapses before the officer catches up with the motorist? So let's write down what is given. Now there are two people. First is motorist. I used one, sub, subscript one to represent motorist. So both started with zero position. Motorist has the initial velocity 50 meters per second, has zero acceleration because he was uh, moving at a constant speed. And uh, um, the question is, when the police officer catches with the motorist, what is, what is the time? Let's see what we know about police officer. Police officer starts at zero two, has the initial velocity is zero, has acceleration three meters per second squared, and what is the time when the officer catches up with the motorist? So basically, you'll have x1 equals to x2. You set up x1 using what is given equals to x2. Then you solve for t. You substitute what's given. t should be 10 seconds. Next one, what is the officer's speed at that point? The officer's speed. V equals V naught plus A T. You already know V naught is zero. You, you know A and you solved for T. So you should have 30 meters per second. What is the total distance each vehicle has traveled at that point? Well, for the motorist, you can use this equation to substitute the time 10 seconds and you should have 150 meters. For police officer, Again, you substitute time 10 seconds with the police officer's perimeters, you should also get 150 meters. Does that make sense? Should the two have the same this, uh, position? Of course they should. Because the, when the police officer catches up with the motorist, they travel the same distance. So they should have the same position. So here is a graph, what a graph looks like. Next one, test your under understanding. Four possible VT graphs are shown for the two vehicles in, in the last example. So which graph is correct? So this is a VT graph. Remember the area under the VT graph represents displacement. So we already concluded the two displacement are the same. So which one has the same area between motorist and officer? So answer is B. The area under each graph should be the same. The answer has to be B. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you next time.